Good morning, everybody. I'm going to show you how to program the Tri-V. This one is set up with tape over the flood, where the F is, the reflector, and the aspheric, so that you can see, the, well, so that the camera can see. It's kind of a hard thing to photograph. The Tri-V will come with a default configuration, which I've worked on for quite some time and I'm really happy with. The first level is flood, the second level and uh, switch setting 2, 3, and 4 are reflector. There's 2, 3, 4. Switch setting 5 goes back to the flood on very high and 6 to the A-sphere. To access the programming for these, these um, levels is through PowerUp 4. Take the battery cap off. Set the switch to 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Put the battery cap back on. And you'll notice that it starts spinning. Before it finishes spinning, I'm going to turn it to position 2. Normally position 2 just had the uh, reflector on and uh, for the sake of this demonstration I'm going to switch that to the flood. Every time you turn the switch up one click it selects the next emitter in a sequence of seven. So right there we have the reflector and the flood on together. There is the A sphere and the flood. That looks like the reflector and the A sphere. And I would say that's all three. And we go back again, it will start over the cycle. Just the flood. That's actually the one we want, but I think I'll go through the sequence one more time so that you can see how easy it is. Just keep selecting the switch. All three. And finally, that's what I want, is just the flood. Now remember, what we're programming is what's going to be switch position 2. Now I've selected what emitter or emitters I want to have on in that setting and I just turn the switch off and I wait until it flashes. There we go. Now I'm going to set the power levels for switch position 2. So quickly I put that switch back on position 2. Now here switch position 1 which for the old the old people, the old lights was power level 1 is called home. And when you put it on there the flood emitter comes on uh, by itself and from here you count one click changes the or adds 10 milliamps two clicks adds 10 milliamps and three clicks adds 100 milliamps so for the sake of this demonstration I'm gonna set this flood at 220 milliamps let's say so I go One, ten, one hundred, two hundred, back to home. And right now, if I stopped, I would be at two hundred. But to get two hundred and twenty, I need to go one, ten, twenty. Now, all I do is turn it off, and the light will cycle through. It will start spinning again, I mean and then it will automatically go into calibration for that flood emitter which it did 
that's a signal that the calibration is over, the programming is over, and now the light is left such that we have flood on power level one, a brighter flood on power level two, two levels of reflector, then back to the flood, and finally the A sphere. That's what it takes to program the light.